Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. For a number of months I've made videos on pre-pottery Neolithic sites like Karahan Tepe in Gebekli Tepe. And even though I say the term so often, the actual words pre-pottery Neolithic have almost lost all meaning. So much so that I'm writing PPN in my scripts and notes. The pre-pottery Neolithic is, well, the Neolithic era for a culture, but before they'd invented pottery. There is no trace of pottery in the archaeological record at the 10 to 12,000 year old sites of Anatolia, with vessels, plates, jugs, jars and storage containers all being cut from stone. A laborious but necessary task. The people were clearly skilled craftsmen and women, capable of carving fabulous statues and stone pillars, incredible tools and vessels and even creating artificial stone flooring, the concrete-like terrazzo. They were capable and intelligent, but they still hadn't worked out how to make pottery. So, when was it first invented? Before we get to that, we should probably define what pottery actually is. When I'm talking pottery, I'm referring to pots, dishes and other types of utensils that are made of fired clay. And interestingly, the oldest man-made clay statue is actually far older than the first clay pot. The Venus of Dolny Vestanis is the oldest known ceramic object ever made, discovered in the Czech Republic and dating back to between 29,000 and 25,000 years ago. It is an incredible object and one for another video, but I won't go into it now because it's not strictly pottery. So why is the invention of pottery even important? Why make a video about this subject? Well, the invention of pottery is a landmark in the evolution of humanity. It made it easier for people to store and transport food, drink and other materials. It made it easier to cook food and boil water. It was a technological innovation a quicker process than making a stone vessel and more efficient, durable and usable compared to skin and woven bags and also wooden containers. Pottery made life easier and its creation is far older than many people actually think. Interestingly and confusingly, pottery actually predates the pre-pottery Neolithic sites of ancient Anatolia. And that's because, as far as we know, it actually originates in China. The oldest example of pottery ever discovered comes from the Zhang Rendong Cave in eastern China, a large cavern with a narrow entrance, inside which were found 282 shards of pottery. The shards are uneven, with thick walls between 0.7 to 1.2 centimeters. They have round bases and an inorganic sandy temper. The paste has a brittle and loose texture and a reddish-brown colour, apparently indicative of uneven and open-air firing. They were dated using bones from the same archaeological layer and the experts discovered they were roughly around 20,000 years old. Yes, around 8,000 years before Gebekli Tepe was built and around 12,000 years before pottery was even invented in the West. Hunter-gatherers invented it during the Ice Age, and there is no evidence of farming in the region for around 10,000 years. So this makes them a pre-Neolithic pottery culture, compared to Gebekli Tepe being pre-pottery Neolithic. Okay, maybe I'm confusing things. In 2020, Shoda et al. released a paper titled Late Glacial Hunter-Gatherer Pottery in the Russian Far East, Indications of Diversity in Origins and Use, and this looks at ancient pottery that was found in Russia around the location of the Amur River, and it dates between 16,500 and 10,200 years ago, again older than anything found in the West. Analysis on the shards found that in some regions the pots were used to cook fish, and in other places to cook ruminants. The analysis couldn't be any more specific 
but if you don't know, ruminants are, scientifically speaking, large hoofed grazing or browsing animals like deer or cows. Interestingly, the pots used to cook fish had a different style compared to the pots used to cook ruminants, and because they were found in different regions, this may indicate that two types of pottery were invented independently, or maybe the know-how was taught by one culture to another. Alternatively, maybe there was simply a different technique employed to make the pots, and it was dependent on their use. Either way, we can use this knowledge to have a guess as to what the ancient Chinese used pottery for 20,000 years ago. Yes, they were most likely for cooking. It does seem strange that hunter-gatherers invented cooking pots during the height of the Ice Age, way before the Bolling Alarod warming period, way, way before the Younger Dryas cooling, and way, way, way before pottery was used in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. It's possible the actual method of creating the first pots was by lining the inside or outside of baskets with clay, and then leaving them to dry. Firing them would burn away the basket, leaving only the clay vessel, but with a basket or cord-like imprint on the clay. I read about this on the brilliant Old European Culture blog linked below, and as the author points out, the early pots of China are bag-shaped and the pottery does look to have distinct cord marks and basket-like impressions on the outside. It does look like decoration, but in reality, it's more likely to be a byproduct of the creation process. 10 to 12,000 years ago in ancient Anatolia, at sites like Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe, there is no evidence of pottery and we can see that stone was used to make vessels, plates, statues, and so on. The first ceramic pieces identified in Anatolia date to around 6000 BC, and were found at the incredible archaeological site of Chatelhoyuk. Whether this was an innovation introduced from the east, or whether it was developed independently, I don't know. But the more I research the ancient world, the more I am impressed by what the ancient people could achieve. Recently, I made a video on the concrete-like artificial stone terrazzo floors at Chayanu Tepese, Gebekli Tepe and also maybe Karahan Tepe, a technology dating back to at least 12,000 years ago. We know pottery was being fired 20,000 years ago in China and clay figurines were even being created, maybe as far back as 28,000 years ago in Europe. Ancient humans were capable of major innovations, even during the worst climatic conditions, and this look into the origins of pottery shows us how well equipped, and also how well advanced human populations already were, way before the climate improved. After the Younger Dryas, human populations were already quite advanced, with the necessary technical knowledge to allow civilization to take off and flourish. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.